All right, guys. What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is not a review. It's not an unboxing, but it is a pretty special uh, video. <clears throat> Every now and then, people send you messages, or pe people send me messages that really hit home. Um, and uh, you know, this guy sent me a message, and not only that, but he also sent me a gift. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the gift, and then I'm going to read you the messages that he sent. Uh, we've gone back and forth a few times. I will, I will do that with a few of my subscribers, um, especially ones that uh, let me know that I've helped them in some kind of way. You know, my videos or my channel or the way that I, I don't know, break down football if they've loved football their whole entire life or if I've introduced them to rugby um, when they've had a, you know, a, a curiosity their whole entire life, but it's because of my channel that they've actually taken an interest in it. Um, whether it's, you know, biting the bullet and getting their gynecomastia surgery done because of my videos and, 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 you know, the positivity that I spread around that subject. But look, today, today we're talking about a guy, Floyd. Floyd Hill. Floyd Lamar Hill, actually. And if you want to check him out on Instagram, I'm hoping he doesn't mind me plugging his name. This man has sent me a gift. A gift that is not easy to find, I don't think. And that is... Friday Night Lights, the legendary book that's been created into a movie um, that I, I, I still am yet to read or watch. So in my hands I have an unopened Friday Night Lights with Billy Bob Thornton, believe it or not. Who else do they have in there? Billy Bob Thornton, Derek Luke, Jay Hernandez, Lucas Black, Garrett Headland, and Tim McGraw. Oh, bit of McGraw in there. Look, this, this DVD is uh, it's special because of the story it's special because this man who sent this to me obviously you know is involved in my journey and, and invested in it and wants wants me to continue it and wants me to watch you know the most legendary uh, movies legendary football movies and this is one of them so Floyd what an absolute legend uh, I will open it why not we'll open it on camera I doubt whether there'll be any treasure inside might be, might be a thousand dollars, but I doubt it. No, just a DVD, just as I expected. Um, I believe he's he's ordered it from online. Um, I can't exactly remember. Let's get these messages up and have a read. Before I do read these messages, I want to set a bit of a scene, um, give you a bit of context. Floyd went through uh, a workplace accident. He got critically critically injured. Uh, which is easy for me to say and talk about, but to, to actually go through would be hell. Um, he was laid in bed for six months in the hospital. He injured his back, I believe. And um, yeah, it could have easily been paralyzed. Laid in bed for six months, recovered somewhat, and then had to try and learn to walk again. Now, whilst he was stuck in hospital, he came across my channel. And this is his story. You know, this is how I helped him. He was laid up in bed. He couldn't do anything. He was probably feeling very, very depressed, possibly. Um, and, uh, you know, lo and behold, my videos helped him in some way. He enjoyed them. It helped him pass the time. Um, and, and so that's setting the scene before I read these messages. But here we go. Now, the first message he sent me, he, he mentioned nothing about that. He just said that he'd been following me on YouTube since summer of 2018, which means that the middle of 2018 for Americans, which is basically when I started doing these reactions. So he's, he's probably seen every single one, which is a, a mammoth effort in itself. Um, then he asked to send something to me. I said, yeah, sure, man. He said, do you have a PO box? I said, yes, gave my PO box number. And he goes and sends me this message. I bought you a copy <clears throat> of the movie Friday Night Lights from an Australian retailer. It should arrive in Alice Springs sometime between October 2nd and 9. And that it did. But I was actually out of Alice Springs at that time. I was in Christchurch. This movie <clears throat> is based on true events that took place in Texas in the late 1980s. Sports Illustrated called it the best sports movie ever made. And WatchMojo.com votes it number one in the top 10 American football movies. Thank you, man. That's all I need to know, seriously. I don't want to give anything away. Thank you. 
thank you for not giving it away. I just want to say, in my opinion, this movie really captures what it's like for many of us as young men in America. A few years of high school sport is all we get. It's our only chance to be in modern times the equivalent of a warrior fighting for the pride and survival of your tribe. I don't expect you to react to it. It's almost certainly too long. But if you could find the time to do a quick review or something, that would be awesome. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for you, mate. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to do a review. And I finally received it, and I said thank you for the gift before making this video, before opening it. He came back to me with, thank you too. I said thank you for the gift. He said, no, thank you. On May 18th, 2018, I was critically injured at my job. I was laid on my back in the hospital for more than six months. That's when I found your channel on YouTube. I'm sure I've said it before, but watching you fall in love with American football was almost like having a friend in my hospital room who shares the same interests. It's really surreal to try and think that it was me in that room with him through the through the screen. It's surreal. It's surreal. It's an amazing feeling. It's it it gives me it gives me shivers. You know what I mean? It really does. I hope that doesn't sound all crazy and stalker-like, but I thank you. I'm sure many others do too. Now, how do you go back? What, what do you say back to that? Honestly, I said. I didn't know what, what kind of injury you had, I didn't know how bad it was. I asked, how was it walking again? And I'm glad to have been there, bro. And he came back to me, and I, I was like, well shit, maybe he could just jump out of bed after six months and start walking again, but clearly not. Uh, and he actually said that, you know, we're near on probably 16, 18 months on from this injury, and he's still learning to walk again. And he told me he swole up to 280 pounds but he's getting better little by little. And he sent me a video of himself uh, learning to walk again. Um, and you know what, I'm actually gonna play this video right now. So I said, you know, I said, <clears throat> I'm proud of you. I said, I'm in the gym right now, which I was at the time, although I am struggling with motivation. But after seeing something like that, how can you struggle with motivation when you've got two fucking legs that walk, that work and walk? Uh, I said, I'm in the gym right now, taking advantage. No, <laughs> I'm in the gym right now, taking everything I have for granted. After watching that video, I, w I was sitting in the gym, sitting on the bench press, waiting for my next set, and I watched that video, and I said, look, man, I'm proud of you. I'm in the gym right now, taking everything I have for granted. Damn. Keep that shit up. He liked that message, and left it at that. Two weeks later, he says, my saints are playing your Jaguars, with a smiley face. You know, back into football, not even talking about the injury, nothing like that. He's, he's as positive as possible. And I want to say, what an absolute fucking legend. So guys, that was my uh, unboxing of Friday Night Lights, or unwrapping, you could say. Um, I can't wait to watch it. Thank God he didn't give anything away. I do have the book, I think. Not in here, but I've got it at home. Maybe I should read the book first. They always say that, don't they? Hmm. I'll let you guys know. And Floyd, I'll let you know. Once again, I want to say I'm proud of you. I want to say my whole entire audience is going to be proud of you. And uh, I'm hoping that down in the comment section below, we can all give Floyd a bit of uh, encouragement. And um, that's it, man. That's it. Thanks for the gift. And uh, it's my pleasure to have helped you through your hard time in hospital. Peace out, everybody. Have a fantastic day.